Because our whole mission is to build the capacity of faith communities to address health concerns. We came to Healthy Churches because about 28 years of work in health ministries, helping churches to establish health ministries, working with the AMEs and the AME Zions and the CMEs and the Baptists and everybody. And three years ago, you know, it became very clear that we needed a forum to bring everybody together. The greatest experts in the world have come to be with Healthy Churches 2020. This is the place where public health and faith come together. Public health and faith come together to make a difference in our community. The church is uniquely placed both in terms of our mission as well as our resources. There's a power that comes from the faith community that really is um, needed in order to address the health disparities that so many of us, our families, our churches, our communities are having to deal with. The church is not by chance the number one institution in our culture. We must leverage a church beyond shouting, singing, which I believe in, and speaking in tongues and all that stuff. Hey, that's good. But listen, we need to model healthy living for ourselves and for our young people. We've got to do that. One of the things that uh, health professionals bring to an environment like this is um, that there is that credibility and trust that uh, pastors and other leaders within congregations are getting accurate information. So there's disparity even in the management of the coronary artery disease. We are not diagnosed as soon as we should, and then we don't get the treatments that we should. And this is where I'm going to share with you how you all could be a part of the group that helps to change that. The education here has just been phenomenal. The speakers, the professionalism, you know, I just felt honored honored to be here. I felt blessed to be a part of something that is helping people become more fit um, through God. But there's been so much information from singers to preaching. The classes are literally phenomenal. I mean just I'm, I'm taking so much back more than I brought with me. I just love the fact that this conference is holistic in nature that I can be spiritually charged mentally stimulated and physically get in shape. This is something that we've been waiting on. We've been trying to figure out, you know, how do we access the churches. I do believe it's about time. I mean, what a minister says from the pulpit really does resonate, you know, with people sitting in the seats. And so we've been looking for this uh, type of avenue. And since we've been here, we've been able to connect with many people who want us to come in and help to support. We designed this conference with the black church in mind. You know, um, it is, the exciting thing is that most black professionals, we are in church. We understand church, you know? And so when people who are not in church, they come to this conference, they're like, wow, you're giving so much. Well, we have to give a lot, you know, because that's who we are. We, we put public health uh, the context of public health into a worship, into the capsule of worship. Uh, and folks often say, well, you know, I've never seen public health and, and faith come together, but this is how it comes together. At six o'clock in the morning, we have yoga, we have gospel fit. So people are out there doing that. We're dancing, we're doing yoga, we're praying, we're worshiping, and we're learning about cardiovascular disease and, and COPD and Alzheimer's. It's all to bring it together.